Hey guys, welcome back to Maddie Bugs Creations channel. And we are on with episode number three of bleaching. This is gonna be a new technique that I haven't showed in the other two videos. And hopefully this will make you be able to have more ideas on how to bleach um, in different styles. So if you like this kind of content, put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and um, we'll get on with showing you how to bleach this technique. Alrighty, this is gonna be probably the most simple technique that we've did besides the um, spray and the dots. Um, and this will give you a great outcome of your shirts. Make them look like they've been professionally done and it's probably the easiest thing to do. It's called the scrunch technique. And so how I do my scrunch technique is I will just basically take it and gather it up like that. And you could do it different ways to get different designs. And then um, I'll put it on the ground and I'll bleach it like that. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. Put those on the ground real quick. This is probably one of the easiest and I love the results of this one. It's probably one of my favorite ones to do. Just take it and just bunch it up. You know, if you bunch it up in different ways, like if you do like the fan, you'll get a different um, look as for if you just gather it up. So there's the fan. There's another technique actually in with the scrunching. There's the fan technique. And I'll show you the difference between these two. They're both to me scrunching, but you will get different results. And then we'll just do this on another fun bunch looking one. Fun bunch looking bunchy. <laughs> All right, so bunch that one back up. And we'll just do it like that. I like I like to be creative and I love to get different results um, because I don't like all my shirts to look the same. I always like them to be unique and creative. And I think with bleaching, you can be really creative. Um, well, by the way, guys, if you like this video so far, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. So that way you'll get notified for when any of my um, videos come out. We have a lot of fun videos planned for the summer. All right, now I'll take you all over to the ground where I just threw all the shirts at and I'll show you how they're bleached. Alrighty guys, I tried to get you all as close to the ground as I possibly can so you can kind of see how they are bleached. Um, whoops, came out of my shoe. I'm gonna put my wand up and remember guys that um, in my video links will be everything that I use for sublimation bleaching you know all the products that I have used and I recommend will be down there for if you're lost and you're just starting out on a bleaching and sublimation I have all of that in the links below I'm sorry I gotta pump this thing up or it's not gonna it's not gonna go all right, so I just kind of, this one, it doesn't really matter if you missed or stream it. I'm just going to mist them. But like I said, misting and streaming, you do get completely different results. And I make sure that the top of it is covered with bleach. Which I like a lot of bleach. <laughs> Sometimes I might over bleach it. But I just love the effect that bleach gives a shirt. To me, it makes it look professionally done. I'm gonna step over here and grab my glove. And yes, I still have one glove. <laughs> if you all seen my other video, we'll see that uh, I had to use one glove because I can't find the other one. Maybe I should go to the store and just buy one. But yeah, I just try to flip them over the best I can, trying to keep them the same. So that way they'll look similar on the back. So these are just kind of grab in the middle. Just tip them over. That's okay if they come undone. Just do your best to scrunch them back the way that they were. And it looks like I got leaves on my porch. Maybe I should have uh, swept my porch off. That's okay. 
These are just merely for educational purposes. So then I'll just go ahead and I'll mist the back too, cover it with bleach. And if you guys have not bought this tool yet, it is probably the best tool ever. All right, so I'm gonna let them sit for about probably 10 minutes because the sun is out, it's hot today. And um, we'll see what results we get next when we come back. All right, so I let them sit out here for about 10 minutes and I washed them and dried them already. So I can give you the results of um, what we came up with after we scrunched them and what they look like. So the dark heather one was just like a, just a regular scrunch. And this is kind of the effect that it gave it. I think they look so cool. Especially love this color. It's one of my most popular colors. It's called a dark heather. No, it's, yeah, dark heather Bella canvas is what this is. And they bleach really good. All right, that's that one. And then the other one we just regularly scrunched is the maroon one which now it looks kind of like a lighter pink and it's awesome looking and that's the effect it gave it and that's just the regular scrunching and that's just taking it and just balling it up it's the very first method and the very last method we did now the one method that we did was like a fan fold on the blue one and um the different effect that it gives it is it makes it look more like a what I would call like a zebra effect. And um, which I really like this effect too, but you can get them both. This one's just like a fan fold. Um, and it was also, it was a second, it was a second method I used. So, I mean, with the, just the scrunching and the folding like that, you can get some really good looking um, bleach shirts that sh I'd wear these without even having to put on any kind of image or you could put the bleach block in there and sublimate you an image in there and um like they were just store-bought and it gives your shop also a unique look out on shirts but the without just having like the solid color shirts you can also just add those to your store or just add them to your wardrobe if you're just doing them for fun so um that will conclude that bleaching session um i will have more coming up and by the end of this week i will have my fourth of july shirt um which I'm really excited to try out. So stay tuned for that. If you like this content, please give me a big thumbs up, hit the notification bells and subscribe to my channel. I have so much more things to do with t-shirts. Um, I might get into a little bit different crafts. I just quite haven't mapped out what I'm gonna do with this channel completely. Right now I've just been doing t-shirts because that's what I know best. Um, but I, it's summertime, there's a lot of fun things to do, and there's a lot more fun things I can do uh, with this channel. So you might just see some fun videos on here. I don't know, we'll just see. And um, thank you guys for tuning in to Maddie Bugs Creations. I'm Megan, I hope that this has taught you something that you can add to your shop or add to your wardrobe. Um, please like this video and hit the notifications bell and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.